Okay, we're going to take a trip to Chile now, to a vineyard just outside Santiago de Chile, which is one of the latest destinations to join the network of Emirates back from the middle of 2018. The wine in question is Don Melchor, which is one of the iconic red wines of Chile. So Don Melchor 2012 is the 26th vintage of Don Melchor, which is a very special wine from the Contri Toro family. Somewhat of an icon now from Chile. Follows the, the family heritage back over 100 years as they were the first people to plant Cabernet Sauvignon in Chile. And this wine is dedicated to the founder, Don Melchor. The vineyard is very, very close to Santiago de Chile in the foothills of the Andes Mountains. And the, the vineyards are planted at quite high altitude, uh, up to 650 meters. So very different to what you'd find in Bordeaux, where the typical altitude is between 30 and 100 meters, for example. If you put Bordeaux up against a Chilean Cabernet, you'd find that there's some similarities, but there's also a distinction in the Chilean wines. For me, Chilean wines tend to have quite a lot of purity of fruit, and we think that this is because the Chilean uh, rootstocks have never been affected by the phylloxera bug and never had to be grafted onto the American rootstocks, which is what happened in uh, the European vineyards back in the 1890s. But immediately for me, I smell that. And it's got that hallmark of, of Chilean Cabernet Sauvignon. Bright, cassis, very, very pure cassis style. And as the wine opens up, little notes of fresh rocks or granite, uh, and eventually a, a note of dark chocolate comes out. So this wine now seven years old. The tannins are already very, very polished, very subtle. And the wine's really started to open out. It's, it's pretty much perfect to be drunk now. Of course, it could age a lot longer. We've done a tasting of Don Melchor going back 30 years. So these are wines that age very, very well. But they come into their own around six to eight years from the harvest time. Very different in style to Bordeaux. Very similar in style to Bordeaux in some, in some respects. What you'll always find on Emirates is there will be a wine from Bordeaux on the list. You can have a glass of Bordeaux, you can have a glass of Don Melchor, put the two up against each other and find out for yourself what the difference between Bordeaux Cabernet Sauvignon and Chilean Cabernet Sauvignon is. So if, if you look at the, the colour, you, you'll see that this is very, very typical of Cabernet Sauvignon. The Cabernet Sauvignon berries are very small. They've got a big percentage of skin ratio to the pulp, which gives a lot of color. It gives a lot of tannins. And looking at this, it's, it's quite identifiable as a Cabernet Sauvignon. Give it a go, uh, preferably against a white background. It works best. It's got a big structure, but it's not, it's not over the top. The extraction is very elegant. Tannins have softened. The tannins are very polished, and you really don't feel any aggression in the wine at all. It's going to be great with red meats in particular. Also work with roasted chicken and a number of other dishes. It's, it's quite a versatile wine. Contrary Toro is, is probably a name that is familiar to a lot of you out there. It's a big Chilean producer, a very good quality Chilean producer. And Don Melchor has been created from the very, very finest vineyards that they have in their portfolio. Don Melchor, as a, an estate, has a dedicated winery, a dedicated team who are striving for excellence to make this their flagship wine, but really the flagship of, of the Chilean wine industry. The wine will be flying from somewhere around April 2019 for a few months. It's going to be on board the UK and the Americas routes, that's North and South America. So Don Melchor is one of the first great wines that Emirates has had from South America on board. It's not gonna be the last, there's, a, there's another vintage or two in the cellars. And we hope that it's a relationship that we continue to develop over the years because this is, I'm sure, gonna be a, a very, very popular wine on board. 
So as they say in Chile, salute.